Hello everybody, it's Chuck Thunder, and we are going to start a new Let's Play series here. It's going to be a combination of Let's Plays and uh, maybe some live streams as we do some basic things like mining and stuff. We'll, we'll do that and so that there's like a bit of a, a talking point if anybody wants to, to play along or do something alongside with me or talk to me. <coughs> Excuse me. And so, uh, yeah, we're going to do a Let's Play series of Direwolf 20's Feed the Beast pack here. Um, 1.19 uh, that is going to be what we're playing under you guys want to play along you know which mod pack to download and we're going to go ahead and get started creating our world um, so there's a lot of this mods in these packs that I don't know uh, some I re remember some variation of back when I played a dire wolf 20 pack back on 1.10 1.10 yeah um, so we're gonna have to figure it out as we go but there are some things I do recognize and we're gonna lean on heavily to the things we do remember to uh, at least uh, get started. All right, so we're gonna name this world the Thunder Wolf 20 Let's Play. That's gonna be it. We're gonna make this easy because I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. Data packs we're gonna leave alone. More world options, we're gonna leave the world. All this stuff is normal. We're gonna make the seed Thunder Wolf 20 is gonna be the name of it. So if you guys want, oh, capital T, Thunder Wolf 20. Mm, done. And then, I don't think we need to do anything with data packs. Um, we're just going to go with it and go from there. So let's hit create a world. One of these things are use experimental features. These settings are experimental. Good doing study. What they have. Fine. Could stop working. Sure. Yes. Continue. But yeah, that's what we're going to do today. Get this world generated. Hopefully, generate into a good spot. I had a test world while I played for a little bit, and I got learned a few things about the mods in the pack a little bit and one thing I learned is that there's these um, colonies that when you set it up uh, that you start like claiming the colony or whatever and I played for a while on one session and then when I logged back in I built my town my, my home a little bit too close to the town I guess and then it said I do not belong to this colony and then I couldn't get out of my house so until we learn more about how colonies work there's no point in me playing around with them um, they could have some benefits early game, but I don't know what that could be. So for right now, we're going to avoid colonies. If we come across any, I would like to just find a regular, regular vanilla village, if possible, early game, because those are always good for food sources and beds. Because um, last time I played, I did not find uh, a sheep anywhere, and I was heavily reliant on finding the colony to steal a bed. So we need something to get a bed right away, because the monsters in, these, in this one is going to probably kill us pretty quickly. Um, it took me three or four deaths before I could find a place to safely call home because it was just so mountainous and I'm hoping we don't find such a mountainous area generating into this world. Um, if we do, then we're going to have to uh, book it and see if we can get out of the, the world uh, that puts us into a mountainous area. Okay, so we've got a little bit of mountains. Um, looks like we got some plain areas over here, so that's where we're going to go. Uh, some forests. I see sheep over here. So cows. Yeah, we're gonna go this direction. That's gonna be where we go. So we gotta head north. Uh, yep, that's where we're gonna go. Let's get ourselves over there as soon as possible. I've turned off some of the things in which. Oh, those pumpkins. What the heck is that? Pumpkins. Sweet. I've never seen pumpkins stack up around a place like this, but we are going to take some. The more we're at it, we'll get to this tree here so we can get some wood. We need a couple of blocks here so we can at least craft ourselves an axe and hopefully a sword so we can get some sheep sheared or sheep cut down. Cool. Get this pumpkin stuff while we're at it. I don't know that we can eat pumpkins right away, but all right, let's do that. Make that crafting table. Get some sticks done, so that way we can get at least a wood axe done. Oops, I forgot. I need to. Come on, make a few of these. And there 
go. Now we got our wood axe, so we can get started with that. Let's get a wood sword, actually. That way we have some way to defend ourselves. And a wood pickaxe, just to get started. All right, and let's pick this up, because we need to get a move on before it gets dark, and I want to get to a flat area. Um, if at the very least we have to just hunker down and stay in our home, then that's what we do. Let's get these sheep first. I see you out in the distance. I never understood how the map could tell you that there's sheep over here, when you can't even visually see them. But I really could use the wool, so we just need three pieces of wool and I three see a few sheep, so... Do it. Oh, you're a baby. We ain't gonna kill you. Alright. Oh! What's attacking me? Something poison ivy? I have no idea. But we have. I got a sheep statue. Okay. Well, I did not get enough wool, so we're kinda SOL. Waystone, whatever that does, I have no idea. I don't know that we can get wool from the baby, so we're not gonna bother. So we didn't get enough. I don't need leather right now from the cows. I got some meat from the sh for the sheepus, so let's just get our butts going here. We're going to harvest you too while we're at it. Why not? Don't know that we're going to need you, but here we go. We have a little bit of a flatter biome over here. Mushroom? <laughs> okay. A little flatter area here. Um. Not as flat as I'd like. Something that way, huh? 700 blocks that way? I don't know what that means. Crows, okay. You can't give me anything I need. I guess we'll just kill these cows. So we can get some leather, because I could use a backpack early on. I think exactly what we needed. Now we just need some string, which we can get from growing some flax seeds. Okay, here we got a little mining zone. Definitely not as flat as I would like, you know, like there are some cool areas here, but it's just a little too vertical. Snails. A little too vertical for my liking. Ah, this is the flattest piece area that we have so far. Mm. Well, we're going to grab some of this coal while we can see it. And some of this cobble. Actually, we might just get the cobble first. So we can make a cobblestone axe immediately. Because that is annoying. With the wooden one. some of this coal so we can at least make some torches later and get some of the cobble. Andesite looks too much like stone. Can't tell it apart. Alright, that should be enough. Oh, look at that. We got a nice little spot of crude oil. Maybe we can use that for energy later. Um actually there's oil all around here we can kind of see it on the map so we don't need to mark it but watermelons what mini melons what are mini melons <laughs> we want them whatever they are we want them we never know when we're gonna need them and if I get into botania I'm definitely gonna want them What 
what else are we looking at on this map here? This is definitely flattening out, which is good. Uh, we're going to get to this area right here. I think that's where we're going to go. And we're going to, um, while we're at it, kill some more cows along the way. see sheep. That's where we need to go. And then we need to cook up some meat because we are getting tired. We need to get some food in our bellies. I'm sorry sheeps, but I have to do this. enough to make a, a bed now. Alright, so let's get out of the trees. These, why do berries hurt you? I don't understand. Jeez. Alright. Nice flat area here next to some water. There's plenty of trees around. I have a ravine right here that I can just get started in mining into. This is looking good. This is where we're going to start. I think we might want to go with... Oh, those dang blueberries again. Oh, look at that. More melons. More cows. More. Oh, yeah, we're just we're rolling in a good spot here. All right, so we are going to go with right around here. And wait, do I see? Oh, my gosh. I see houses. Or a house. What the heck is that? That looks creepy. All right. This looks as good as any. So we need to get ourselves started. I like to let's uh, keep things a little faster here. Let's just dig right into the side of this mountain here, or this geode, whatever you want to call it. I have no idea. This will be our first home. Let's go ahead and switch back to the wooden axe here so we can save some of that and get, just get rid of it. We need wood. So we can make a door. But let's just get our bed made. Let's do a couple more blocks this direction. Put some stuff down and then we can get started. Okay, call that down. And then let's let's do this. Make our bed. Bam. We don't have enough for a chest, but we can make a couple of torches. We can make... No, we can't. So we need to get some wood. And we need it fast. Because it's getting dark and we need a door. Come on, it's getting dark. Really? I grabbed the one thing that you can't use? Oh no. It's all force logs. And I'm hungry. This is bad. We only need two pieces. Let's go. Ah. Ah, zombie spawn spawned in. Zombie spawned in. Haha. <laughs> we did it. Get out of here, fool. Now we go to sleep. Ah, monsters. Come on. Alright, let's get to bed. Sweet. 
First night, success. All right, now that we have, can we make a chest from you? We can, okay. I have no idea how important <laughs> any of this really is, but, oh, really? There we go, all right. Statue, sure. All right, we need to eat something. Um, let us make a furnace. Might have to make two, but that's okay. Let's do this first. Expand open a little bit. It's a little tight in here. Put some of you down and put some raw beef in. All right, we're going to make it, everybody. What? Sorry, too many sticks. All right, let's eat another one because we're probably hungry. Whew, okay, that was a little tight for my liking, but... It's okay, so let's go put another chest down here. Um, I want to make it like my food chest or something. I like to keep the like logs and other mob drops and stuff separate. I don't have enough, though. Well, we're going to have to... We're going to have to figure that part out. So let's go ahead and put all this stuff away. Probably going to need that. button. We're going to go chop some wood down today for sure. We'll go ahead and turn you into sticks so we can make a few more of these. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Um, and then we're going to want to make one of you so we can start doing stuff like that and we're gonna want to make a stone sword because that is more efficient and then we'll burn the wood stuff to maintain the fire and we're gonna want a wood of a stone axe because that's more efficient um, and yeah that's pretty much it for now. What is it? What do you make? A lever? Anything? No. Okay. I just figured I'd check. All right. And we're gonna need that. All right. I guess we ought to get out here and just get some wood. That's. We don't want force logs if we could help it. Um, we'll take this. Red, oh, redwood or whatever it is. It's perfectly fine redwood trees. Let's, since we started cutting this one, let's just continue with this guy. And I like to use these guys as like a pillar at some point. Um, why don't I just do that now? I like to use these as like a way up. Just like this. Oh, come on. We get a lot of wood this way. Clear three up. One, two, Three, jump. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. And then we just keep doing this. We get a lot of wood this way. We don't have to tear the whole tree down. But it will provide us with a lot of wood. The ones that don't fall off the tree. these trees are pretty much impossible to cut down <laughs> at least not easily I miss Tinker's Construct that was a great mod creating those broad axes or whatever they were that lay to cut down the entire tree with one fell swoop that was pretty cool I miss those but Tinker's Construct I don't believe is in this mod pack anymore because it was only good for like 1.10 so um, hopefully someone recreates that one if it does exist if anybody knows it exists I would love to play with that mod again oh, don't need to Cut three high because the tree is getting narrower. 
cool. One, two. Gotta be careful here as we go up because the tree will get narrower. Yep. Doesn't hurt to continue the pattern. getting there. Almost have a full stack of wood here now. to the top here I think uh, let's get a good view of what we're working with when we get up here too a really tall tree that's for sure but that's why we chose to do this because it allows us to get a good view of where we're headed maybe some things out in the distance I think we're like really near the top right now really close used almost a whole axe doing this Yeah, look at that. So, it'll get quite a good view. I don't have my view distance turned all the way up. Oh, look at that. There's a geode or meteorite or whatever. So, that's a cool spot we can go check out. Really right behind our base. Sweet. All right. So, let's head down. We got enough wood now to last us a good while. We should start turning some of this into charcoal because we don't know if we're going to find coal relatively soon. So, I'd like to have some of that on hand with us careful not to fall down because that would hurt pretty bad all right and there's some logs that fell sweet all right let's get dug here boom uh, sweet go ahead and put the stick in there so it cooks up the last of it and then when we are ready we will put this into here stick really didn't do anything um, and then we'll put you we'll turn it into 13 of those so we can have some stuff to go with it sweet and we can now make another chest I wanted to make one more chest for ores or something like that it makes the most sense to leave this to foods and other random things but this will be my ores chest when we finally make some ores we don't know how much it's going to take to do this. Once we make one of these logs, then we'll put the thing in here. Come on. Boom. All right. So now that should do the job of keeping that going. At least for a little while longer. Maybe we'll make another two of these just in case we need them. Um, let's open up our roof here a little bit. Oops, wrong item. Just like this. And that way... We can... Put a decent chunk in there. Alright. I'll stack you. Alright, let's hopefully that's enough to get started with that. Yeah, I think we're good. And let's take you and we'll make another stack of sticks here 
We're gonna do this, and then we got a decent chunk of those. That's the one thing I need the most is torches. Um, this process takes a long time, so we're gonna do it like that. There we go. Like to get these last four in, so well, I'm like rushing to do this, but all right, we should have enough now to finish off the sticks. All right, good enough, good enough. All right, it is daytime, so let us. I have a few other sticks here. Uh, a few other sticks, a few other doors, so I like to dig through here so that way I don't have to run around my building to try to get out. I should just be able to I call it my building, run around my house. So let's just do this. Put you here. Bam. Alright. We'll use the last of our wooden pickaxe as we do this. Oh, look at that, some copper already. So let's go ahead and get you going. Not that we need much copper. Ooh, and some iron. Oh, we're killing it. We got lucky. Hitting iron, like, within the first time we start, like, quote-unquote mining. Perfect. Yeah, I really want to get to ore doubling. Thermal expansion. That is important. Because uh, we do need to make sure we uh, stay well-stocked on iron. Um, early game, especially. Should be reaching the back of this already. There we are. Is it nighttime already? Holy crap. I must have burnt the day doing exactly that stuff. Alright, well, let's go out this way. Next. At least three entrances to our thing would be nice. And there we go. And we have a way in and out of our house. Ooh, appetite, nice. Not that this, I don't know what this really does. I thought this might be like fertilizer or something. I, I could be wrong. But we'll take it. It's experience, and it's in here. Maybe we can make something from it that we don't realize we can make from it. We'll check GEI. care for andesite. It looks too much like cobblestone. And then we don't have another door, but at the very least let's dig to the edge. Just like that. And we'll use andesite to close it up again. Alright. And we got a little bit of ore. Melt. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's look at what appetite is. What can you do with appetite? You can turn into blue dye. You can make phyto grow with some niter dust and some sand. Uh, which I'm assuming extremely potent fertilizer. Okay. Appetite dust with that and earth charge. You can make a block of appetite for whatever reason. Well, can we use a block of appetite for anything? Nope, but it is pretty. So it's used, like as I said, it's used to make fertilizer. Um, there's really not other any uses. Phyto grow. It's a really good fertilizer. Well, I mean, we have it, so let's go ahead and save it and turn it into a block for the sake of saving uh, some of our uh, space. of that up. Cool. Alright, let's
let's make a few more. Cool, now we got a decent stack. Black dye, huh? I didn't realize it made black dye. Alright, and then let's get this put away. I have no idea what xenonite shards are used for. And let's get some copper smelted down while we can. Don't know that we need that much copper, but... What does the sheep statue do? <laughs> That's it? Okay. Well, let's make a little sheep statue shelf. Right next to our bed. Kill. All right, and the copper's being done. That's done. All right. Well, I guess we might as well cook up some raw mutton while we're at it, just to have that cooking, and we'll go to bed. All right. We are awake. Those snails creep me out. I think I might just kill them. What do we get? Snail shell. <laughs> okay. All right. We're we're wasting time on silly things. Let's uh. We need to go get some actual ores. So let us do that. Um, and I'd like to get, we don't need to worry about food right now, but let's go get some ores. So there's some easy access ores right back here. Yeah, look at that, some more coal. But easy access coal, because there's a meteorite that struck here, so we'll use that as our basic access. I will like to just do a strip mine at some point, um, which we can probably just do right out of our base. Um, but that's fine. Polished basalt. I mean, crafting purposes, let's just pick some of it. Why not? We got we got stone and we got black stone. That's cool. Is this soul soul soil? Interesting. Well, let's make another crafting table so we can take one with us. Oh, that's cool. Let's make some sticks and let's make a shovel. pick you back up. Actually, let's make another axe while we're at it, because we're running out. And we'll make another pickaxe while we're at it, too. And then we'll collect that. And let's get some soul sand. Soul soil? There's soul sand. I don't know that we're going to need it, but why not? You never know. Got some blackstone, polished basalt. And then we got this weird dude right here. Magma blocks. And we got obsidian. So we got a source of obsidian right here, which is kind of cool. Don't know that we're going to need to use magma blocks. Gilded blackstone. I have no idea what any of this does. Oh. Did I drop in nuggets? Yeah, they're dropping gold nuggets. Well, that's kind of cool. I mean, we're not finding gold anytime soon, so let's just take it. Because we're not digging down deep, so let's take these gold nuggets as we come across them. obsidian man I have no idea what I'm looking for but I'm taking it whatever it is all right I think we got enough of whatever all this stuff is <laughs> that whatever that is we got enough to make a few gold bars which uh, is something okay so this isn't going to get us down to the Y levels and stuff that I needed actually so oh look at that some lapis no what is 
I have no idea what that is either, but we'll take it. I'm just going to collect some resources as we get out of here, but that was cool. We now know that we can get gold from there if we need gold, and we're struggling to find it. And now it's raining. All right, so what we're going to do to avoid the rain, oh, there's a little cave, um, is we're going to start digging. We're going to turn our base here into a little bit of a base that is, uh, sorry, a, a mine shaft here. So let's go ahead and put some things away. Things are not likely going to run into while we're down there. Don't know that we're going to need gold. I really need to get to thermal expansion stuff at some point. So that'll probably be in the next episode. Food. Food goes here. Okay. And nope, nope, no. Iron ores don't go there. I'm going to look up Gilded Blackstone real quick. Not golded, gilded. Uh, in a solidification chamber, we could take some gold nuggets and blackstone and make it. How do we use it? Dark gilded blackstone. We could use gilded blackstone to make a gilded upgrade. Hold on, pneumatic boots. Okay, and we need lapis, gold, and a gilded blackstone. So I guess we should hold on to that making blocks, I guess, with it. Yeah, that's the main thing. Other than this thing, it's making blocks, so we don't need to do anything with it. And then blue, yeah, whatever. Alright. So if we're going to make a mine shaft, we'll make the mine shaft go down here. Away and downwards. Oh, you know what we're going to want to do. While we can, make some stairs. Oh, I still have the soul stone on me. We don't want any of that on us. Now we can get going. So I'm going to go mine off camera a little bit here. This is the kind of methodology that I, I take is I just kind of, oops, I kind of dig down. Um, and uh, when I reach something of interest, I stop and then I mine it out my way down to bedrock. Um, we might pass a few cave systems along the way, but we tend to avoid them as we go. So I'm going to do this off camera and we'll see you guys in the next episode when I've come back with more stuff. Because uh, we definitely want, uh, <laughs> we definitely want to col start collecting things. Because we are in dire need of iron. And oh, look at that! We already found a little cave system here. We'll explore briefly, but for the most part, we are going to ignore it. Let's see real quick. Let you guys get a peek at what it is I'm going to go after. No, not bad. It's a little something. So we're going to explore it briefly. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. It's just Chuck Thunder. Be sure to like and subscribe. And see you in the next episode.